I want to go over real quick. I have a uh, new mentoring session coming up March 27th, 7 p.m. over on Mastrius. And I know there's a lot of folks that paint watercolor and different mediums that follow me. So I want to go over real quick what the basics are that you'll need to paint an oil painting. First, we're going to talk about paints. Um, I use Michael Harding paints. I'm actually an ambassador for Michael Harding. And, um, but you don't need to buy Michael Harding paints. I would love it if you did. But Holbein, Gamblin, some very nice paints, not student grade, would be the best thing to start with. And why I say not student grade, it's easier to really get a range of color and really understand color uh, composition, relationships, different things like that if we use a really good paint to start with. You won't be as frustrated trying to mix colors. Uh, it'll be, you know, a, a very easy, easier uh, color or learning curve with this. So the first paint I'd start with is this Michael Harding, um, or it could be Holbein, or it could be Gamblin, or any of the Rembrandt, any of the really nice names, as long as it's not student grade. Um, Michael Harding paint, Titanium White 1 is the mixing to get uh, lighter values, if you will. Uh, then I would buy, have you buy uh, Ultramarine Blue. Then I would have you buy a Cadmium Yellow, Alizarin Crimson, and just to do some uh, non-color, um, if you want to call it non-color, but a, a grayscale or value painting, you could buy either this Ivory black, which you can tell I use a lot of, um, or the ultimate or burnt umber, sorry, burnt umber. You could do it actually with either one of these, but the burnt umber and the ivory black will give you a um, better feel and, and provide you with a nice range, especially the ivory black. So you, and you can buy them in the 40 mil um, tube. That would last you a while, depending on how much you squeeze out and how stingy you are with your paint. Um, the, naturally, the larger pile that you make, the better, because you don't have to keep remixing. Pros and cons with that. But that's the paints, the four basic limited palette paints that you can start out with, is these four plus a burnt umber or an ivory black. If you just did these four, we can work with that as well. Now I want to talk about brushes, even though I don't uh, use brushes. I use palette knives, and we'll talk about those in a minute. Basically, let's move these guys off. Basically, the silver brush from Grand Prix is a good start. These are uh, basically filberts, very small um, number two filbert, and this is a number six. That'll get you started. Also, two brushes is all you need if you want to paint in brushes. Um, I have a couple, let's see, I have a rosemary flat, rosemary brush flat here. Um, they call this a half inch. As you can see, it's mongoose, so it's a lot more an easier um, brushing brush. It, it flexes more than the hog's hair, which is this, which these are very used hog hair, so they're not quite you know, as stiff as you get them when you first pull them out. Let me pull another one. This is, oops, sorry. Sorry about that. This is a rosemary brush, for example, which is hog's hair. Um, Filbert. A whole bunch of different ones. You can, if you don't want to buy an animal hair brush, you can get the synthetics. Again, this is a, a Grand Prix brush with this synthet, synthetic. But to, you know, to keep it real simple, if you want a synthetic silver pre or grand pre silver has those. Um, this is part of their ruby satins. You know, so if you're okay with using hog's hair, these two, plus a brush, a small fine detail brush like this guy, um, which is I always pick up a brush where I can't find the names. Uh, Raphael and Kelvin. And I use this to sign and very, very delicate work if I need to. As you know, as if you guys are tuning in and you, and you know me, um, you know that I paint with palette knives. And now my, oh, here it is. So to mix with, I use this. This is just a real inexpensive Liquitex Freestyle. You want something that 
has a nice feel to it. This is what I mix my colors with. I don't necessarily paint with these. This is the set I paint with. So it has the teardrops. It has an, a really nice edge. It's got a bigger, what I call teardrop, a longer, and then the, the fatter one. These guys give me everything I need. Um, I don't know what brand these is. I bought these things like over 30 years ago, uh, and I'm still painting with them. So nice thing. If you want to buy a set and you want to learn to paint with palette knife from the beginning, you certainly can. Oh, um, I got a question. Thank you. Um, what are your thoughts on Winsor Newton water-based colors or water-based oils? You know, I haven't painted with water-based oils. Um, I can understand why people want to do that. Uh, so I really can't comment one way or another. If you get a great color range out of them and, and you don't want the turpentine smell in your lab or in your uh, studio, I totally get that. Um, so yeah, you can start with Windsor, no Windsor Newton um, water-based oils. Uh, I probably would end up learning from you. So <laughs> uh, that'd be kind of fun though to, to have that comparison there. Thanks for the question. I know I can, I'm sorry I can't help you with that very much, but um, I know that they have been out on the uh, market a lot of uh, a long time, so that would that would be good. Um, yeah, so sorry, <laughs> but thanks for the question. So this particular set of palette knife that I have uh, is a Dow Dowler and Roni, and it has the same sides, the same shapes as the set that I just showed you that I didn't know the name for. So this set I know is available um, out on the internet. If you wanted to start right from the start um, with uh, palette knife painting, learning how to use your palette knives to paint with. And so that would be a set that you can buy. Uh, you probably still would want to buy one of the finer um, signature brushes. You can sign with palette knife, but I feel I get a much more pleasant signature with that, that little brush. The last thing you'll need um, is a canvas to paint on. So this is the Centron LX. This is a, a very nice canvas. It's already stretched on the boards, as you can see through here. Um, it's primed for oils, acrylics, and um, cassians and alkalides. Uh, it's a nice uh, weight for that I've seen. It's, it's linen, it's all purpose, and um, it's a 16 by 20. So really to start out in my mentoring group over on Mastrius, M-A-S-T-R-I-U-S, this, the canvas, and I always put my brushes away so you end up hearing me go, where's the brushes that I just had? Um, let me grab this out, but you know, a set of, of knives. I'm just going to throw my old knives up here. A palette knife to mix your colors with. Your paints. There's a message for you. Thank you. Um, your paints here, the basic limited palette paint that we can get all kind of colors out of. And three brushes, right? We talked about three brushes. I don't know how they disappear in so quickly in my brush holder, but they do. But basically three brushes. That's all you need to come and join me in my mentoring session which starts March 27th and is at 7 p.m. Eastern. And, you know, we'll get started painting and we'll work through what we need to know. So hopefully you guys can join up. It's at masterius.com and um, just search for Fissler, F-I-S-L-E-R, in the mentors area, and that'll pull you up to my page and you can learn more about me. So thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you later.